today I'm going to fix the fan clutch on my 2001 Mazda B3000 and what's happening is the clutch wore out and now it just stays engaged so the fan is running at the same RPM as the engine. So if your car fan sounds really loud So you could hear that the fan isn't disengaging because the clutch is worn out. That fan should spin freely, but it doesn't. So that's how you know you have a problem. I mean, you'll hear it. So we're going to go replace it out. So here's the nice new part. And to get this part in, we'll have to take off the air intake hose right here. We'll have to take off the fan shroud. And those two things should give us really good access to this fan here. We'll also have to take off the belt and I'm replacing my belt. The car has almost 100,000 miles, original belt, time to change it out. Plus with this fan being stuck, the belt is definitely slipping on the higher RPMs, causing a lot of wear on this belt, I'm sure. So let's get started. So here's everything you're gonna need. Uh, this will act as, I, I put a, a hole in it for the bolt, you'll see how that gets used, but it'll act as a tool that you could buy for about like 15, 20 dollars. All it is is a piece of metal with a hole in it. It helps get the fan clutch off because you have to spin the fan clutch bolt while the fan clutch spins so with a pulley but you want to stop the pulley so you use this uh, this is for the new fan clutch because the the bolt is a lot bigger this is to help break the bolt on the old fan clutch uh, you need various size ratchets this is a 10 millimeter um, and then you'll need a 15 for the pulley the idler pulley the tension pulley so you can get the belt on and off a crowbar to help slip the the pulley off for the fan clutch and then it's the 7 8 is what comes stock for the fan clutch you need a screwdriver and then a pliers and then your brand new fan clutch so let's get to work just so you could get orientation in front of the car is that way so the first thing we're going to do take off that intake you're just going to unscrew this When it's loose, just turn it up a little bit and wiggle it off. So as you can see, I just took the uh, top of the air filter off. All it is is these snaps that click into here. You just unclick them and then just move this up. Now we have more access. So next step is going to be taking off the bolts. There's a bolt on top here and there's a bolt on top here and then you just lift up to get it off that bottom wedge over there and there's another bottom wedge below that hose. One bolt two bolts with the air filter set up out of the way you can see we have decent access here and we're gonna get a, want to get a wrench right on here they make fan wrenches but you could also find just an open-ended wrench that will fit on here so that's what I'm gonna go do now I'm sure this is gonna be a pain to get off because it looks pretty rusted so you want to identify which way your fan clutch screws on so you just get a flathead screwdriver stick it in and turn a direction so right now I'm going counterclockwise and counterclockwise is unscrewing it. If I do this, it's clockwise. The thread is going deeper. So that clockwise is screwing it on. So I want to turn this counterclockwise when looking this way. So now it goes on like that. So if I turn it when looking at it this way, clockwise, it'll unscrew it. 
So you want to figure that out right away so you know which way to loosen the bolt. So now that we know, we have to loosen the bolt by turning this clockwise. So the normally it's righty tighty lefty loosey, it's opposite on this one. We know that, but now we need to figure out how to prevent this pulley from spinning. Some pulleys have bolts on the end here, and then you just put a wrench on that bolt, and then you loosen this. But this doesn't have any bolts. The bolts are on the inside. We're going to take the belt off. So your routing should be right here. Just in case if you don't have it, here's the idea. So that's the alternator, that's the fan, that's the idler pulley. So you want to make sure that you know how this goes on. And it has for the four cylinder, it has for the, the bigger six, and here's my three liter. The idler pulley is right there. So all you do is, I have a special wrench, you could use any wrench really. It's just long, you could use a breaker bar. And this is a 15 millimeter ratchet piece and you just slide it down and get it on that bolt so once you get it on there you turn the either pulley down and then you can take off the belt Now your belt's off. Now with the 10 millimeter ratchet, there's bolts in here, inside. There you go. So there's bolts. This is upside down view. You can see already unscrewed one. There's four of them. And this connects the pulley to the frame there. So I'm gonna unscrew these bolts. So there's two. Third bolt, there's the fourth one. So with all four bolts removed, you might have to pry this off with the crowbar. With this pulley off, you have access to these bolts, and there's a special tool you could use to remove the fan clutch. And what it does is you screw the bolts into it, and it's a long bar. So I'm gonna replicate that right now, because I have a piece of metal right here. And I'm just going to put a hole here for the bolt, and the bolt's going to slip in here, and I'm going to use this to hold the pulley. So as you can see, the bolt will go right in, and this will give me leverage. So now just get your piece of metal, line it up. So this will give you a good idea of what my tool looks like. You can see it goes right on here, and when you try to turn it, it won't turn. So it just uses one of the bolts. You could use two if you want, but one's good enough. And the tool you buy from the store is gonna use two of the bolts. So I got my 7 8 inch wrench on there. I got my tool attached and is being held by itself onto there. I am turning this clockwise. And you really have to real hard turn this. And I finally got it. So, and then now you could just spin the fan, because your fan clutch is broken, and that'll unscrew it. So you can see it unscrewing. So now unscrew this all the way. Now with that off, you're going to unscrew these four bolts right here to get the whole fan to come off. These are 10 millimeter. So, when you take your fan off, make sure you get your fan clutch and put it in the same orientation because you want to make sure that the blades are going in the same direction otherwise you'll be sucking instead of blowing and just realign the holes this kit comes with nice new bolts put them in
And then in the star pattern, tighten it. Okay, now you got your new fan clutch. So now we're gonna put our pulley back on. So we get those four bolts. Make sure you tighten these pulley bolts nice and tight. And once you got those on, let's put the fan on. You want to make sure your pulley is running straight. So that looks pretty good. There's no wobble in it. It's not loose at all. So now we lift our fan shred that we unbolted. Take our fan. Sneak it in here. Drop the shroud back down. Align the fan bolt with the fan pulley bolt. And just start threading away. So once you finally get that threaded on, tighten it up. So now you want to make sure you get that fan nice and tight. Remember, it's the opposite of convention. You want to turn it opposite of normal, you know, normally it's righty tighty lefty loosey. The good thing is once the belt is on here and the fan starts moving, it's auto tightening because it's going to spin that way, which is clockwise, which will tighten it up. So that's on there nice and tight. Now let's get the belt on. Got this nice new belt. So now we're going to route it. Put it around the fan. Bring it all the way to the bottom. Put it on the power steering pump and put it on the uh, alternator right here. So now you want to go between the fan belt and the harmonic balancer on the bottom and push it through. So once your belt is all routed, you get the, uh, the belt and you put it over by the alternator pulley. You get your 15 millimeter, stick it on the idler pulley, then the idler pulley back. Slide your belt on, make sure everything's aligned, and then let go of the idler pulley. Now we're going to put the air box on, very simply. See those slots right there, that slides in, and then there's these here that click in when you push down. So we're going to line this up. Push that in, get the other one, push that in. There's a tube here that makes sure that's connected. Good, that's connected. Everything's good. Now we're going to get this on here. This is important, you get a good seal on this. Okay, that's on there good. Turn that down and tighten this up. Make sure it's nice and tight. Good. Seal all the way around is good. That's good. Okay. Now the last step is going to be to put this shroud back on. So there's a bolt that goes there and a bolt that goes there. So we're just going to tighten this bolt on this side up and tighten. This will hold the fan shroud on nice and tight. Allow for good airflow. We'll get this side nice and tight. Our air filter's on good. Everything looks like it's ready to go. Let's start her up and see how she sounds. All done. So now when you bring up the RPMs, it shouldn't be so noisy because the fan shouldn't stay on. Good, no fan noise. And then when the engine gets hot to operating temperature, that fan should kick on. 
the clutch should should grab and then you'll get a nice cooling effect and that's how you change the uh, fan clutch on a uh, Mazda B3000 or a Ford Ranger and it'll work for pretty much any any car with a fan clutch obviously it'll be a little bit different but subscribe like and comment let me know what you think let me know if you have any tips